So you bought a skull shaver, you've shaved your head with it, you've had it for six months, for a year, you're starting to notice maybe the blades need to be replaced. Which one are you going to go with? If you look at Skull Shaver's website, there's about three different blades you can choose from. I have all three blades right here. We're going to go through this today so I can cover the differences in these blades for you. Before we get into that, my name is Ken. This is Bluegrass Bearded. Welcome into the Beard Cave. Glad to have you here. Let's talk about these blades. What blade may be right for you right after this. Welcome to Bluegrass Bearded, I'm Ken. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to also follow me on social media at Instagram and Facebook at Bluegrass Bearded. And make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell. Thanks for stopping by. Stay bearded and be blessed. So if you've been around my channel for very long, you know that this is typically a beard channel, but I also do videos for Skull Shaver. I am a affiliate with Skull Shaver. I work closely with the company. We've developed a great relationship. And I really enjoy that I'm able to bring this information to you guys for you guys that are bearded or not bearded, but especially bald like me. So I've used every blade that Skull Shaver has made. I've used their old five blade system. I've used all of their four blades. I'm going to show you these now. First of all, let's take you through the similarities. If you take a look here, I'm going to throw up a short video of the website. So when you go to SkullShaver.com, you're going to see this here across the top. You're going to see um, how to navigate to their shavers, to their shaver heads. If you go to the shaver heads, and look here, these are where you're going to see the differences. Okay, you're going to see the three blades right here. Which one do you choose? You've had your skull shaver for a while. Which one of these are you going to go with? So that's what this video is going to help with. Let's talk about the differences in these blades. But first, let's talk about the blades and their similarities. So first of all, every blade that you pick up from Skull Shaver is going to be similar in a few ways. Okay, let's go over it again. This is with the Pitbull Gold. Now that being said, their blades do work on all of their shavers. We also have here their Butterfly Kiss, which is my wife's. My wife uses this to shave her legs. She'll be doing a review for this in the near future. Stay tuned for that. But we're going to talk about the blades today. So again, these work on all. Now, one similarity that all the blades have is you're going to notice right away that these heads are very good at pivoting. They are multi-directional. So you can use this any direction. You can go up, you can go down, side to side. Any way that you use this, you're going to get a great shave. You have a shaver head that each of these individual blades will pivot away from each other so you can get a unique shave to your head. So what that means is no matter what shape your head is, if you have bumps, if you have a smooth, if you have whatever you have going on, if you have, I got a buddy of mine that just did a video recently. Matter of fact, I'm going to link that right up here if you'll check that out. He has surgical scars and he's able to use this shaver. So check that video out for sure if you have anything like that. But these blades are amazing for going over your head no matter what kind of shape you have going on there. Now another cool thing about these blades is the internal working. So I'll show you here. You can actually take these blades apart. Very nice cleaning in here. These blades inside here, I won't take this apart, but the blades inside that actually do the cutting, these are Japanese steel. So these blades are going to be very good for holding their sharpness, for holding their shape, for not getting warped, bent, anything like that. You're going to get long life and great sharpness out of these blades. So those are the similarities. Any of these three that you pick are gonna be great for a shave. And again, they're gonna work with any shaver from Skull Shaver, regardless of which one you have. Let's talk about the differences in these blades. Okay, so let's talk about the differences in the three blades that you can find and which one may be right for you. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the Carver blade. Now the three blades that are available, you have the Carver, you have the Forte, and you have the Baron. All three different price levels, all three built just a little bit differently. So let's talk about that. So first of all, the Carver. Now the Carver, you're gonna find this on the Skull Shaver website for $24.99. $24.99, now this is the lower end shaver they had. Same quality, the difference is going to be in the cut. So let me take this out. So the carver, you're going to notice right up front when you look at this, one of the main differences here, let me get that to focus, is going to be you have two cutting rings there, and these are flat. So flat foil mesh, meaning when you look at this, if you kind of see it from an angle, it's going to be a flat foil, okay? This shaver is going to be very good for coarse hair. It gets in and gets a really good cut. I actually used this blade this morning, and you can see very good shave just like the other ones great for coarse hair now with the flat foil mesh uh, there's really no irritation to worry about but when comparing the three blades you're gonna have less irritation the more you go up and that's the way these blades are developed and I'm gonna show you that as we go okay so next up is the Forte blade I'll show that here for you this is gonna be the mid-level blade for skull shaver this blade is gonna run you $34.99 now 
The difference between the Carver and the Forte is very minimal. You're gonna get the same great shave, but the big difference is gonna be that instead of flat, you're gonna have kind of a beveled curve on the edges of these blades. Okay, still the same double ring, both mesh foil double ring, but this is gonna be a little curved, a little beveled, and not flat like the Carver. So this is gonna be a, a great shave that's gonna be a little less irritating, um, a little if you have a little finer hair, not as coarse, um, it's gonna be a great blade for you. This is the mid-range blade. Okay, so that's the only difference. Same great cut, beveled edges, curved edges, a little bit smoother shave out of that. Okay, next up is the Baron blade. Now the Baron, again, this is the, the highest quality, the high range blade that they have. This blade's gonna run you $44.99. Now, the biggest difference in the Baron blade from the others is the construction of the foil rings here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When you look at these blades, and to compare these, I'm gonna throw both of these up. When you look at both of these blades, okay, this one is the Forte. If you look at the Forte, you have two rings on the outside and then you have the Skull Shaver logo in the middle. So you have two blades there. The Baron blade, you're gonna notice here that you have, you still have the Skull Shaver logo in the middle, but now you have three rings. So you have the S-shaped curved blades. You also have a third in the middle. The third ring there is gonna have dots. So if you can kind of see that, let me get that to zoom. On that third inner blade right there, you can see on that ring, you can see the dots. Okay, so you're gonna get a, another ring here cutting into that hair. Now this blade is great for sensitive skin. You're gonna get far less irritation. If you have sensitive skin, if you have a head that normally kind of reds up when you shave, or you get shave bumps or anything like that, this is gonna be the blade for you. This one is gonna be awesome for that sensitive skin. It's gonna be smoother on your skin. It's gonna feel a whole lot better on that head if you do have those sensitive skin issues, okay? Me personally, I don't have necessarily sensitive skin, but I've used all three of these and I can tell you that this one, the Baron, is the most comfortable shave you're gonna get from these three blades. Okay, so those are the differences. The construction is the same, the blades are the same as far as the Japanese steel, the pivot in the heads, same across all three, no matter which one you get. The difference really comes down to the details and the cutting rings and whether or not those work well for sensitive skin, for whatever type of skin you have. So that'll be for you to decide preferential. Any of these is gonna be a great shave. If you go down to the carver, which is flat, you're gonna get a great shave out of this one with that coarse hair. The Forte blade right there in the center. And then the Baron, once again, the Baron, gonna be great for really sensitive skin. So let's go into my conclusion. I'm gonna let you know which one I think is right, which one I prefer, and then we'll be out of here. So which blade do I think is best for me? Which one do I think may be best for you? Again, that's gonna depend. For me, I'll just go ahead and tell you, I've used all three of these blades. The Carver, Again, this is the $24.99, this is the flat, this is a great shave, great for coarse hair. The Forte, the mid-range blade, this is basically like the Carver, but it has those curved beveled blades. This is gonna be great also. And then the Baron, the Baron is the upper end, great for sensitive skin. You're gonna get a little bit better feeling out of this one. For me, I prefer the mid-range, the Forte. I think the Forte is a great shave. Mid-range cost there at $34.99. I don't have overly sensitive skin, but this is a very comfortable shave with this blade. If I had really sensitive skin, where even the softest of shaves cause me some irritation, I would definitely be up with the Baron. So if you have that sensitive skin, if you constantly break out from shaving, from doing you know your, your routine with your head, then the Baron blade is probably the one for you. If you have sensitive skin, it's gonna be a great one. Again, if you have no problem at all with sensitivity, you have you know that tough skin up there, no issues with that, then the Carver may be just fine for you. Again, really coarse hair, this is great for that. As far as which one, you know, again with the Skull Shaver, I do prefer the Forte. Now for my wife, for the Butterfly Kiss, this one came with the Carver Shave Head. So great for that coarse leg hair. She doesn't have any sensitivity issues on her legs. This is a great shave for her. Stay tuned again, once again, we're gonna be doing a review for this one. She will be on my channel at some point, so you definitely don't wanna miss that. But guys, that is the differences in those three shaver heads. 
Any of these you buy is gonna be a great deal. And again, I am an affiliate with Skull Shaver. I do have a discount code, so right across the bottom here, you'll see that. Save you some money on some great products. You're gonna support Skull Shaver and you're gonna support the channel as I do have a small commission that comes back to me for these products. So thank you for your support that way. Highly appreciated. If this is your first time here to my channel, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for clicking that link. However you got here, thank you for sticking around and checking out the channel. I'm gonna throw a card right up top here. If you'll click that, that'll take you to some other videos that I've done on my channel. If you have a beard, if you have a bald head, if you just like great bearded and bald head content, please subscribe. Please come watch my videos. Highly appreciate you being here. For my long time subscribers, for those of you that are here every video, as always, you guys are highly appreciated. Thank you guys very much for your support. I'm honored and blessed that you give me the opportunity to do this and have this platform to make these videos. Thank you for watching. If you don't mind, if this video brings you any value, please make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button also, and ring the bell so that you know when I release new content. Again, if you have a beard, if you have a bald head, these videos come out frequently, so stay tuned, subscribe, and come check them out. Really appreciate you. Until the next video, guys, thank you for being here. You are appreciated, you are loved, and I thank you. Stay bearded, be blessed, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Visit bluegrassbearded.com where you can find my podcast, Off the Bearded Path, available on your favorite podcast network. You can also find graphics design services, bluegrass bearded official merchandise, affiliate discount codes, and more.